My little son, five months old, is slowly coming to terms with the fact that he inhabits a human body. You can see him slowly getting used to little things like reaching down and grabbing his toes um, or grabbing at things as they come near him. He's taken quite a fixation to my little ohm that I hang around my neck. Um, he reaches out and grabs it. Now, what does what does that mean for him to do that? Not what does it mean scientifically, what does it mean to him? How does he engage one of his limbs? How does he do that? Well, we can explain from the outside what it means. Um, his, a desire forms in his mind, his mind, uh, whatever that is. Um, this converts to electrical impulses, which, you know, go down his central nervous system to activate whatever muscle or limb he wants to manipulate. All right, that's from the outside. What does it mean to him? How does the thought of, I want to move my hand, turn into moving his hand? And it, I don't even mean the actual physical processes. How does he actually do that? <laughs> um, when I go, I'm going to move my hand, my hand moves. How does that happen? How, how do I actually do this? Like if I were to explain to somebody who had just been teleported into a human body how to move their limbs, how would I explain that to them? <laughs> um, again, kind of reminds me of Neo in The Matrix. Why do my eyes hurt? Because you've never used them before. Um, intuit. You have to intuit these things. You have to sort of say, all right, I'm going to do this, and then it happens. You, rationally, logically, scientifically, I don't think we can explain that. I have no idea. Okay, I know that I want to say certain things, and certain words are coming out, my, out of my mouth, and science, science can explain exactly what's taking place in, in each of my muscles, in my nervous system, I presume, whatever. What does it mean to be in the driver's seat of all of this? Um, what would my own personal control panel look like as the either the spectator in the Cartesian theater or as the charioteer and my body is the chariot? When I want to engage my will, what does that actually mean when I say hand, move, raise, cup of cappuccino to mouth, drink cappuccino, swallow, experience taste. Imagine that I'm a jet pilot and my body is the jet. How do I push all the buttons to get what just happened to actually happen? And what's the process that's taking place for it to get me to do that? That's intuitive, I would presume. Or it's autonomic or something like this. It's not something that we consciously do, but it gets done, doesn't it? It gets done quite well. I don't spill a drop of this. I'd like to see how sophisticated a robot has to be to do this. And how sophisticated a robot would have to be to taste it and enjoy the taste. <laughs> um, a wag might say that I had to acquire the taste for this coffee because it's bitter and children don't like coffee. How would a robot acquire a taste? What does a taste actually mean? These are the things that go through your mind when you meditate. When you get used to meditating, when you get used to sort of deliberately stepping into a rut or a furrow that you've already plowed before to say, I'm going to explore that version of existence or of... Um, that version of my being, of my reality. You start to think like this. Um, I wouldn't say that you take that with you into the workaday world, if you want to call it the workaday world, but you can. You seem to be able to draw on it. Um, this can be overwhelming, I guess. Um, 
I've often thought that schizophrenics are far too acutely aware of the fact that they are doing this at all times and the normal filtering out of too much information is absent in their case and they can't handle it all. Just too much stimulation all the time that never stops and it overloads the circuits, I guess. Um, but, you know, that sort of begs the question then, is the schizophrenic actually ill in any sense? Fundamentally. Or maybe his chariot has just lost a wheel. The charioteer is just fine in there. <laughs> Makes you think, eh? Mental illness might be a purely physical thing. Um, but in any case, it goes back to my point. What does it mean to be on the inside uh, experiencing things as they experience and feeling the effects that these experiences have on you and feeling your own inputs into your own experiences. That's what meditation teaches you, or that's what it's taught me, or I think that's what it's taught me. Uh, I've, I've started to think that way around about the same time as I've learned to meditate, I guess. Um... And then, again, another thing that happens, a corollary to that, is you start to look around and you realize that everybody else is dealing with the same issues, and there's seven billion of us on this planet. Um, know thyself, I suppose, or become what you are. Yet another pot of gold at the end of meditation's rainbow, um, if you want to call it a pot of gold. <laughs> 